Hey everyone, interesting royal news this week as the internet went into overdrive and a vacuum of information was replaced by a sea of misinformation. The king hasn't been seen for some time and no information's been given about what type of cancer he has. Personally, I believe in privacy when it comes to someone's medical condition, especially if it's of a sensitive nature. But according to Twitter, the reason for his silence is definitely something to do with the reptilian aliens and possibly the Rothschild banking family. Talking of which, Jacob Rothschild died this week. He's the person that supposedly controls all the banks in the world and his family personally scripted the entire 20th century. He's also the person, by the way, that Mr. Burns and the Simpsons is supposedly drawn to resemble. Anyway, there's videos online on TikTok explaining how his death was secretly announced several days earlier when two black horses were seen riding down the mall this week. It's all supposedly something to do with Masonic numerology, although the number that really sticks out to me is 87. He was 87 years old and people dying of old age is relatively common still and absolutely nothing to do with Brexit or the Pope or the Freemasons. The Pope, by the way, is actually quite busy himself anyway. He's currently ill with the flu. And again, I cannot reiterate enough that he is quite old and old people have a tendency to die, but let's leave that one until it happens, just like it has done every couple of years literally since the days of Christ. Anyway, next on the list is Kate Middleton, who also hasn't been seen this year and is apparently still recovering from surgery. I once heard that abdominal surgery is quite grueling and she doesn't really want to have grisly photographs emerging of her looking haggard like what happened with Prince Philip several years ago. Nonetheless, a quick video search online reveals lots of secret news, everything from rehab to divorce to a failed suicide attempt. In one video I saw even suggested that secret Jesuit doctors had been flown in to harvest stem cells from her body in order to cure Charles. One friend of mine suggested that she was getting plastic surgery and said that despite being a staunch Republican, he would be persuaded to be a royalist if she came back with a massive boob job in order to resemble a young Jodie Marsh. And it's quite shocking that that's actually one of the more plausible things out of that list of nonsense. Other dead or missing royals, though, we'd have Prince Michael of Kent's son-in-law, who just died aged 46, and Prince William chose to miss the memorial service of his godfather, the late Constantine of Greece. The reason given for that was, quote, a personal matter. And I don't really blame him. His wife and his dad are both in hospital, possibly at death's door. Or, you know, maybe it's also because he and Lord Lucan are hanging out at the Bohemian Grove plotting more dastly conspiracies with the servants of Cthulhu. I will say that if the royals do keep dropping like flies and at this rate you or I could be king or queen by next weekend and in the meantime Prince William has returned to work to do not a lot after spending several days doing nothing in order to take a break from not doing very much. Anyway, let's finish with a joke. Prince William goes up to his dad and says that if he was born a commoner then he would have probably wanted to work as a roadie. And Charles replied, one, two, one, two. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.